for us to then compare. In other words, we say this is what we think should happen. If we can measure it in terms of dollars, that's very concrete. That's easy to measure. Then we say, hey, this is what actually happened at the end of the time period that we had previously budgeted for. And of course, the difference between those two is something that we can then look into and think about and consider why so that we can then make another budget for the next period and move on and on and on in this fashion, hopefully improving, improving and improving. Another major goal of the budgeting process and one that's often overlooked is the motivation of employees through participation. It's often thought that the budget's going to be applied from a top down type of perspective and sometimes it is, but we want to be careful of that because we really want to have the bottom up type of feedback. We want to make the budgeting process a communication process because it's a really big opportunity for us to have that communication process. We want to be able to have all places within the company be able to give feedback so they they feel like they're invested in the plan they've contributed to the plan they are part of the goal that has been uh taken on through the budgeting process and therefore they're personally invested in the outcome the only way to do that is to really get the feedback from everybody within the budgeting process so the budgeting process huge opportunity for communication to to help everybody to feel heard it does not mean of course that it's going to be a democratic process and we're all going to take a vote and decide what the budget is but it does mean that the process of creating the budget should be in a systematic way and that the governing of the process should be in the format of how can we get the best information and everybody in the company should hopefully know that the budgeting process is designed in that in with that end goal in mind to get all the information that's what the budgeting process is for and then of course the the final decision is made final decision made by management once the budget has been completed then hopefully every feel everybody feels like they have invested that they have been communicated with well uh to that that they've been able to contribute and that any kind of response to the budget and any decision that has been made has been well communicated hopefully in a way that addresses any uh, consenting viewpoints so that everybody feels invested in the budget and then the implication the implementation of the budget can happen and management then wants to implement the budget and make sure that the plan is then executed once the decision has been made once the budget is set down and we're moving forward with it then we want to make sure that the plans of the budget are clearly communicated the process of making the budget now having been ended now we're in the implementation of the pro of the budget and want to make sure that the implementation the communication of the goals of it are now communicated from management to uh the employees and in, in a way that everybody understands what those goals and objectives that everybody has decided and invested in are so to recap our budget objectives it should promote future uh, analysis thought and direction so it has everybody kind of focused on the goals of the company and the goals that are going to be the future orientation so if there's any question on the day-to-day -day type of activities that can happen they should have some idea we should have some idea of what to do given the overarching vision the overarching goals and objectives of uh, the budget and the company uh, communicates the plan to the organization organization so the organization everybody within the organization hopefully has a good idea of what the budget is how to act within uh, the budgeting process what their department is uh, required to do within that budgeting process because those steps have been well communicated make long-term strategic plans into short-term financial plans so we want to have an overarching vision upper management does of course want to communicate that vision but also want to communicate how we're going to get there on a on a step by step year by year month by month day by day type of basis so that people within the organization can then see the overarching vision but also what they got to do immediately they see the road in front of them how to take each step as they go along the right the way provides benchmarks for evaluation we should be able to compare what we do on the budget to what actually happens that giving us feedback on our progress so that we can then make another budget and it motivates employees through participation it really should be a communal kind of activity if everybody if it if it is it's a huge benefit huge opportunity for everybody to feel like they put some feedback into the budget not necessarily feeling like the budget did everything that that they wanted that's obviously not going to happen but feeling like the process was good process was geared to get communication to get feedback and all of that feedback hopefully was addressed 
and therefore people feel like it was a it was a good process to go through and therefore are invested in the plan and then once the plan is implemented uh, they will feel invested in uh, carrying out the plan and achieving the goals and objectives of the budget.